We provide great experiences in the Sundays. We have uh, three boats doing day trips. So we wanted to come up with something that was in between a ferry and a fast, fun ride and mix the two together. So have the fast, fun ride, but have it in a comfortable situation. So I think we've created the perfect vessel, extremely lean fuel burn, and it's up to two and a half times less than some of our competitors. Not only environmental, but financial. I'm really proud that my wife and I have, have taken a concept, an idea that we had, a dream, and we've turned it into a reality, you know, of two National Tourism Awards. And then along came COVID, so we had to adapt, got the uh, our whiteboards out, went crazy. First real thing that we came up with was water taxi work. We basically put windscreens in our boats, um, took out a quarter of the seats, put luggage racks in there, and we started to provide transport around the islands as more of a taxi service. So that kept our guys um, working. I guess the biggest thing I've learned is to always be on your toes, always set aside X amount of money per product, always be able to survive for three to six months because a big wet could come, anything could happen. So we always had that money in the bank for a rainy day and um, COVID was that rainy day. Our sailing vessel was a very backpacker orientated vessel targeting the European market and we've now switched out to Australian families so on day trips rather than overnight. So you have to have that adaptive mind. If you're just a stick in the mud and you keep doing things the way you've always done them, um, you know, you won't, you won't be able to adapt quick enough to stay alive in today's current situation. Look, I think the, the future looks bright. We have natural beauty in both the Whit Sunday and the Mackay Isaac area. Even if the you know northern Whit Sunday stays a bit slow, uh, we'll still have that Mackay product.